Here we go, we're off! On a shifts, hey? <laughs> this is its first official drive as a V8. Let's go. Yeah, I'm the one to get it, bro. I swear to God, I'll get it, bro. Hey, I ain't never giving up. Yeah, I never give up. I got this, man, I got it. I will rock when I'm on it. Never rock it. Got the block when I'm toxic. Spitting logic. <laughs> oh, phone's moving all over the shop. This thing is cool. This is so cool. I have no taco or anything, but we're driving, we're changing gears. It does seem a little doughy. So. Sorry, I'm trying to do everything at once here. Trying to film and all that. I know you can't see me. It's like I have no kick down though, but that's okay. I mean, for its first drive, we're doing all right here. We're doing all right. Hey, I have indicators still. Oh, somebody's here. How's me temperature? Temperature's all right. Everything's still going all right. I think this guy's letting me past. What a day to be back in your trailer today. I'm trying to fuck this fucking hold up. <laughs> hey, I mean, come on. It's a fucking V8. In a Hilux! Oh, it's fucking cool! <laughs> there you go. So that's the first drive. That's the first official drive. It obviously needs some kick down and everything like that. But, yeah, that was cool. So, I'll, um... I'll try and get this video up and we'll see what the story is. I mean, we're not overheating, we're changing gears. It just doesn't have much of a kick down. I think that's mostly because of my throttle pedal and that. Um, and it needs a good idle fix because the intake and everything. But yeah, we'll sort this out and, and see what happens. But it runs and it drives and, and I'm done. <laughs> yes. All right, I'll sort this out and I'll get back to you. Hope you enjoyed it. So there you have it. We have it running. Doesn't run pretty, but it runs, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a few little things to sort out. Me and Glenn did some testing and found out that it needs more fuel pressure because the pump just isn't sufficient enough. Uh, I gotta wire up the speed sensor, oil pressure sensor, stuff like that. Yeah. And um, that's that's the midst of it, basically. Make the intake so we don't have vacuum leaks. Uh, but yeah, so thank you Rory for your help yeah. You. Yeah. and we'll do the next one, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Alright guys, thank you very much and uh, we'll do the next episode where we get it running properly and take it for a proper drive. Bye! So, bye! <laughs>
All right, so I'm going to just change this fuel pump over and we'll see if we can fix this. Chevy, hang on. If I clamp that off, like so, I'm just going to take the whole assembly and then that way I can have a look at the filter too while I'm at it, may as well. Let's see if this pump has really chewed itself out or not. This pump seems to be knackered, but it flows enough to start a car, so I'll keep it and I'll put it on a separate tank. No point in getting rid of it. The one I bought, though, does flow twice as much, so... Which is a good thing. I stabbed myself and it really hurts. Let's go strip this down and see what we find. Alright, so we've got the old pump in black. Got the new pump here. Slightly bigger. Looked up the stats, it flows more. This is actually out of a Commodore 5 litre. It's the external pump that goes from the tank to the, to the engine. So for a 4 litre, that should flow enough. Um, and I'll be putting that in since this one is shot. Let's just remove this. Not that we can. Jesus. There we go. Yeah, so that's the old one seems to have chewed itself out. Nothing coming out of it, but no plastic or anything anyways. New one. Let's just open up this filter first before we go too far. Putting it in a vice is gonna damage everything, but I'm not overly fussed here. It's creepy crawly thing. I'm just gonna put these on hold while Dick Lips feeds his dogs because you won't be able to hear me. I'm trying to I'm trying to film as much as I can between the neighbours fucking dogs barking, so just bear with me. So ten years I've put up with this. Ten fucking years. And it's like this till the late hours of night, you know. wait to sell this joint and just get out of here. It's such a shit place and shit people. It's, it's do not come to Kuma. Ever.
Sorry about that. If you have to put up with the crap that I do, comment down below. Let me know your story. I'd be interested to hear it. I get grilled for my cars from them, but I've got to put up with that, so. Yeah. In the wrong. So, anyways, back to it. Here's the filter assembly. Pulled it off the pump. Should be pretty clean. I did clean the tank out. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good. Put it back together. I'll put it on the pump and then we'll put it back in the truck. And wire it back up. Then we'll do the old Yardy flow test. And see what we get. Put you back up here. I'm not gonna lie, I really can't wait to get out of this, this town. You're never right, you're always wrong. Everybody else is right. Nobody wants to spend money. When I had a shop here, I used to get swapped for things, you know. I had a bloke try and swap me a boat for an exhaust, and I said, why don't you sell it? And he goes, why? You can. Cooma is such a bad place. It really is. The town's crap, the people are crap. They just don't put that in the tourist bit for you. Righto. New pump. Filter's still clean. We'll go and throw that in the truck, see how we go. Should flow a bit better than the other one. Considered that chewed itself out for some reason. Alright, let's see how we go. All right, back under here. Let's plumb this up and get it, get it going, eh? Seven's too big. Just keep winding this on. Like that. Take that. And uh, now I'll go up top and see if I can do a flow test and see what it comes out like. See if we've got any leaks, pressure test it. We'll go from there. Alright, this should be priming, so let's see how we go. A lot quieter than the last one. Sounds alright. So we'll get a jug out and we'll see if we're getting anything out of the back end. Alright, got me a milk jug. We're uh, I'm just gonna go key on for 30 seconds and we'll uh, see how much it fills up. That flows a lot better than the last one already. So I'll tip that back in. We'll start the car and see what it does. Alright, let's try that again with the engine on. That's heaps better. We were flat out getting 330ml out of this with it running, but now it's that'd be easily over a litre, and that's in 30 seconds. So, what do I do with my hose clamp now? Well, I'll find that, put it back on, and it looks like we've got pretty sufficient full fuel flow now, so we'll take it for a drive.
see how we go. All right, here we go, drive number two. Let's see if this one goes a little better. I cleaned the plug out and made a good connection. So we should be all right here. I'll try and put you somewhere so you can see. Drive number two. Let's see if it stalls. <laughs> needs a good work through but this feels so much better might actually be able to take this for a decent run Got to move a V band though. Keeps knocking on the chassis. <laughs> up a few things I need to put the handbrake assembly in I had to buy a wheel for that um, I need to buy an extension for the speedo cable but yeah sounds like a dream fuel pump issue is sorted gearbox issue is sorted you know I've got to put a valve in for the brake booster but other than that we are a goer oh, thank God because I'm selling the house, I was so worried. vacuum canister in for this too just for the brakes but that's okay cheap budget believe me oh this thing goes I think the kick down cable needs a little adjustment but that was pretty stout I'll give it its due and that noise you gotta love the sound of a good V8 you know oh this is so good I've got my truck back I do enjoy this truck I always have I mean, it used to frustrate it frustrate me because I bought a really cheap starter motor and I didn't drive it for a while because it was just frustrating. But I got it going and it was all right with the 3L as long as you were going around town, but the rest of it, it was just gutless. It really was. Trying to tow the drag car to the track and everything was fucking horrid. But this is great. This is so good. It feels so good. Needs a few things, you know. 
needs the brakes done and all the little bugs and that sorted out. I think the kick down cable needs some serious attention. Something's hitting. I'm pretty sure that's the V-band. It only stalls when I go to put it in neutral for some reason. I don't know why. I think I need to put a thicker grade oil in it too. <laughs> but this is great. It's very good. I'm not gonna lie, I am enjoying myself. I need to hook the taco up though. And I need to get an extension for my speedo cable. my thermo fans constant always have and to be totally honest I probably always will I'd rather use a little bit of fuel and have it safe than have it overheating and having to do head gaskets and all the all the crap that we do no car guy car guy enjoys doing gaskets
we go. One V8 Hilux. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>
I do have a seven axis shirt. It's been made currently, and as soon as that is done, I will be sending it over to you as a as a gratitude of my my thanks. And yeah, I've I have hand written a letter to you too. So just a little personal touch, you know. I just like I can't say thank you enough. Um, so I'll put all the links and and everything to Kelvin's YouTube channel and his website on. Uh, down in the description, so please go get over there. Give him a like, give him a share, you know, follow him because like the the knowledge that, that this guy has is just phenomenal, you know. And and he'll help anyone. He's like he's like me, you know. If you're good to him, he'll be good to you. And, and that's all we ask. We don't ask for a lot. Just you know, be good to us. Um, so make sure to check out those descriptions, like the links down in the description there, and uh, and make sure you give him a good following because I'm telling you, you'll be lost without him, absolutely lost. I know I was. Um, so that'll wrap up this episode. Anyways, um, I'll be having fabrication videos of the intake pipe, um, more troubleshooting obviously this thing's going to have bugs you know most engine conversions do if anybody ever tells you that they go smooth they're lying um so yeah that's it for this episode i'll uh keep you informed and and might even make a start on the larder maybe <laughs> but yeah thanks guys make sure you stay tuned don't forget to subscribe like and share and if you're going to watch the videos, make sure you watch them all, like all the way through, because it helps me out a lot too. Um, so, yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support too. You know, there's a few of you that have gotten on there and messaged me and stuff like that. So I, I greatly appreciate the support. Thank you very much.